Good morning, everyone. This is Tony Mills. Um, right, one of my weekly videos today is um, about attracting toxic relationships. Um, it's most of this has begun pretty early in our childhood, uh, where we've come from a place of trauma, um, rejection, abandonment. Uh, humiliation, betrayal, and injustice. Some of these feelings have been running in the background right from early childhood. Um, and we can perhaps, you know, we can even take it really much further back. We can take it back to our ancestors. You know, God knows what happens with our ancestors, the terrible things that have happened. And it can be a overpowering ancestral trauma that repeats itself every generation until it's cleared and this affects um, that that already sets things up for us um, so also we can get to the stage then where let's move on then to even conception okay if there's um a conflict at the time of conception okay a reluctance by one partner or anger by the other that believe it or not affects the future seed and being when the fetus is in the womb all things can be going on around them there's arguments with the parents um, deep sadness, loss, grief, extreme anger. The fetus is a very de delicate little being, so it can pick these things up. Um, next stage is, is birth. I mean, a normal birth is not a barrel of laughs, I don't think. So even they said, oh, it's a normal birth. For, for, the, for the baby, it can be quite tough. Um, so you see all these stages here that makes it really tough for us to come into this world. Um, if there's uh, problems with the father, there can be um, there, there can be like absence of a positive father figure, or there can be any abuse when the, when in a the child. Then this is going to affect us. Um, another one from the mother's side, if there's a lack of nurturing or believing you're an unwanted child, it may not be so, but if you've got that belief, then you carry it and then, then you start attracting. So already there's a, there's a victim being uh, nurtured, ready to, to, be, uh, uh, to attract a negativity. And a good sign of that is the first lot is kind of bullying, okay? So bullying at school by other children. So we're setting up a victim program now. Bullying at school, children, perhaps by the teacher. Um, then bullying is a kind of theme, isn't it? It's, it's a theme. Um, kind of, it's a kind of bullying with parents, bullying with partners, bullying at, um, at work, the workplace. And so... There's, there's a, there's a, because of the past history, there's almost like a need, or it attracts this kind of thing in one's life. That, that's the thing. So it, it continues through our lives, that um, attracting. And what happens when, say, there's a um, uh, divorce with, with the parents or, or separation, the, the child may have a need to please them try and keep them together okay and then it sets them up again for a need to please and the, the narcissistic kind of um, partner is very often drawn to that it's easy prey for someone who's easy you know easy wants to easy to please so you can see how these things the whole theme of it comes and because of there's been a repeating in the, down the ancestral line, there's an also a repeating in our lives, okay? Um, the, 
we as we move through life we we, we realize that we we are attracting you know we leave one partner and we're attracting another one and that that is proof that um we, we, this is repeating we have to change it and because you know I, especially i've been through a toxic relationship uh, toxic abuse and i i realized that you know it i've got to do something about this because i was allowing it and you see what we do we 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 actually plead try and please the one that's abusing us we, but they don't please us that that's the crazy thing um afraid of offending someone who's abusing us sometimes um and hurting us it can also be um not just partners it can also be family family can be just as challenging challenging parents even children it can it can affect us in that way but we are the one that's creating this through our history and we are the ones who can change it and through working on myself and uh, taking having the courage to change things and let go of it um it, it's been great actually so no longer dra draw those toxic relationships but now also i can help others in the same position uh, uh, help them release um the problem you see once you get into that um victim program um it it depletes you uh, it depletes the adrenals okay and the adrenals um have got a lot to do with um being um being a victim it's, it's a kind of a victim program the adrenals but of course you deplete the adrenals then your resistance is down for further problems you see and when we start to love and appreciate ourselves and care for ourselves then things begin to change and it can change believe you me it can change uh, very quickly well sometimes not completely quickly to be honest but it does change if we, we, it's the courage to change it and it's the fear of of change is our, our biggest problem uh, when when we do decide to move forward then things begin to to alter for us so um so when we learn to love and um appreciate ourselves uh it's and realize it's safe to move forward then things begin to change you realize that too that you know we we our children pick this up you know we we say it's a um, there's a problem with say husband or wife or partners and we have children we we have you, you know mothers of course worry about the children and they put their children first and things like that but they're reading all this in you as you have read it in your parents so to, for the sake of the children also you have to give your bring back your value and that changes things for yourself primarily but then the children to read oh she's now or he's now begin to value yourself because you know i was in uh, an abusive situation and don't think men are not they are and they can't fight back you know they can't do anything you know or well, it'll, it'll be reversed then so um we've got to realize that it can happen to anyone in different circumstances and we we can do something about it and if you um go to my website you can see it's energetic wisdom.co.uk we've got the, the post up there um you can see uh, you know how i can help you um it really is worth changing it's a whole lifetime we've we've got it when we come up now this this uh this particular moment we're coming up to christmas Christmas reminds us of um, relationships and family because it's a time of family. And if there's toxicity there, then we even many people are dreading Christmas. Uh, and so to to work on this before it comes up, or the be the sooner the better, because really it, it's I feel that Christmas now is is kind of not so genuine as it used to be. And it does bring up a lot of uh, crises in our lives, which we don't need. It's, it's actually, we need to bring back our power and our value. 
and this is what I do. I work with people's value and and to bring back your power. That's that's where we come from. Okay, and uh, so if you've got any questions, um, you know you can you can follow up with with a column there, and you can come come back to me online. Um, and I'm quite happy to help anyone with with a future relationship or any toxicity in their lives because I really believe it can change and you deserve it you've got to start looking and realizing that you you, you what the problem was that you but because of your belief system you felt you deserved this okay which is completely wrong you deserve a good life and even to start writing that on the mirror and wherever you are and start I deserve a good life and you do okay and I'm that's what I'm here for is to help you with that. Okay, thank you for listening and all the best till next time. Thank you. Bye.